Hello everyone, welcome back to another video by the Recover It team. In this video, we're gonna talk about a very common issue that is encountered by a lot of Mac users. However, before diving into this video, I would like you to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Today's video is gonna be entirely dedicated to solving one common issue that plagues Mac users. If you're a Mac user, there's a huge chance that you use Microsoft Word to read and edit your Microsoft Word document files. However, it would become extremely frustrating to work on these files if Microsoft Word kept crashing on your Mac frequently. Fortunately, there's an easy fix to this issue by following some of these easy tactics. So let's talk you through some of these easy tactics so that you can stop Microsoft Word from crashing on your Mac. So why does Microsoft Word keep crashing on your Mac? There's a few common reasons why Microsoft Word might be crashing on your Mac including a corrupted Office suite or improper installation of the Microsoft suite. You might also be running, unfortunately, a pirated version of Microsoft Word on your Mac, which can cause it to crash. Also, the source drive where Microsoft Word is installed might have some malware on it as well. And lastly, you might have an outdated version of Microsoft Word on your Mac, which can cause these issues. It doesn't really matter what has caused Microsoft Word to crash on your Mac system. The methods that I'm going to be talking to you today will help you fix this issue and get you back to work. Unlike Windows, Mac allows its users to change the drive names. However, there is still a few rules that you must follow. For instance, the drive name should always start with a character and must not include any special symbols. So if you have recently modified the name of your hard drive on your Mac, then make sure that you rename it to a suitable name that adheres to the guidelines that I've just mentioned. Here is how you can deal with Word that keeps crashing on your Mac. First of all, you want to tap the Command and Spacebar at the same time to open up Spotlight Search. Alternatively, you can tap the magnifying glass on the top right-hand corner to open up Spotlight Search as well. Once you've done that, just type in Disk Utility in the Spotlight Search and press Enter to open up the Disk Utility application. Select the Mac's hard drive and check its name in the right-hand side of the panel. If the name starts with a number or a special character, then make sure that you make the required changes. If Word keeps crashing on your Mac, don't worry because we'll move on to the next solution. Even though Auto Recovery Folder saves a running Word document, it can cause the application to crash itself. In this case, you can clear the Auto Recovery Folder and see if Word starts working normally again or not. First of all, you want to open up Finder and select the Go to folder from its menu at the top. Now type in the path of the auto recovery folder, which I've just popped up on the screen right now. Press go. Now once you're in the auto recovery folder, simply remove every autosave entry and try relaunching Microsoft Word. Booting in safe mode is actually a great way to identify whether a third party app is causing Microsoft Word to keep crashing on your Mac system. Like Windows, safe mode on the Mac will only launch necessary startup programs and it would become very clear if the Microsoft Suite itself is damaged or if there's another faulty application. So to do this, all that you need to do is restart the computer and press the shift key immediately until you hear that Apple chime. This will automatically boot the system into safe mode. Now try launching Microsoft Word and see if it crashes or not. In case it still crashes, what you need to do is restart your computer and reinstall the Microsoft Suite so that you can get Microsoft Word to work again. In many cases, actually having an outdated version of the Microsoft Suite can actually cause the Microsoft keeps crashing on your Mac situation. If you have been procrastinating installing the latest issues, which we do from time to time, well, this time you need to upgrade your Microsoft suite. So let's see how to install the latest version of Microsoft Word on your Mac computer. What you want to do is, is open up Word and go to the help section on the top. Click the check for updates section. In a fraction of a second, the application will tell you about the update status. If there are any pending updates, simply 
Tap the install button to download and install the latest updates of Microsoft Word. If none of the above methods work, what you should try and then do is repair the hard drive using the Disk Utility app. Using a corrupt hard drive can actually trigger the Microsoft Word keeps crashing issue on your Mac. So repairing the drive is gonna be most likely the fix to this issue. First of all, launch the Disk Utility program and select the drive that you want to repair. Then click the first aid and this will initiate the repairing process of your hard drive. Once the drive gets repaired, you'll be able to open up a Word document without any interruptions. We hope that these methods help you fix the Microsoft Word keeps crashing issue. But before I say goodbye, I'd like to give you a bonus point as this will be extremely helpful for Mac users if they've lost valuable Word documents while trying to fix the Microsoft keeps crashing issue. While repairing a drive, more often you would get stuck in a situation where all of the unsaved changes from your Microsoft document will be removed. In this case, you can use a data recovery tool like Wondershare Recover It Data Recovery to help you restore any unsaved or deleted Microsoft Word files. Let's see how easy it is to use the Recover It software to restore your lost data. Launch the Recover It on your Mac and select the location where the drives were deleted. Click Start and the tool will start scanning the drive for any deleted files. Once the scanning process completes, select the file that you want to restore. You can also tap the preview button to check the file before restoring. Now simply click recover to restore the deleted files. That's a wrap for today's video. We really hope that this video has helped you fix the Microsoft keeps crashing issue on your Mac. Come back on our channel to see similar tips and content. If you still haven't subscribed by the way, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any one of our videos. Take care everyone and we'll see you in the next video.